in the sleepy town of Millbrook, nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, there stood an aging school building. Millbrook High School had seen generations of students pass through its halls, each leaving behind memories and whispers of the past. As the end of the academic year approached, anticipation filled the air, mingling with the warm breeze of early summer. Among the students eagerly awaiting the last day of school was Alex, a practical and level-headed teenager with a penchant for skepticism. Unlike some of his classmates, Alex never put much stock in the rumors of ghostly apparitions or haunted hallways. To him, the old school building was simply that, old, but not necessarily ominous. As the final day of school arrived, Alex found himself caught up in the excitement of summer vacation, with thoughts of lazy days and carefree adventures dancing through his mind. He barely noticed the subtle unease that seemed to linger in the air. It was only when he entered the empty hallway after his last class that he felt a chill run down his spine. The hallway, usually bustling with activity, was eerily silent. The soft glow of afternoon sunlight filtered through the windows, casting long shadows along the polished linoleum floor. Alex shook his head, chiding himself for succumbing to irrational fears. But as he made his way towards the exit, a flicker of movement caught his eye. Turning, Alex saw a figure standing at the far end of the hallway, partially obscured by shadows. For a moment, he froze, his heart pounding in his chest. But as the figure stepped forward into the light, Alex realized with relief that it was just a janitor going about his duties. Embarrassed by his own paranoia, Alex offered a sheepish smile and a quick nod as he hurried past. But as he reached the exit and pushed open the heavy doors, a sense of foreboding washed over him like a sudden wave. Glancing back over his shoulder, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching him from the darkness within. That night, as Alex lay in bed trying to sleep, he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled over him. The events of the day played over and over in his mind, each shadow and flicker of movement taking on a sinister significance. Despite his best efforts to rationalize his fears, he found himself unable to shake the feeling that something was wrong. Unable to sleep, Alex decided to take a walk to clear his head. Stepping out into the warm summer night, he wandered aimlessly through the quiet streets of Millbrook, the only sound, the distant hum of crickets in the darkness. But no matter how far he walked, he couldn't escape the feeling of being watched, of unseen eyes following his every move. As he rounded a familiar corner, Alex's heart skipped a beat. Standing before him was the janitor from the school, his eyes wide and filled with a strange intensity. Without a word, he beckoned for Alex to follow him disappearing into the night like a ghost. Curiosity getting the better of him, Alex followed, his footsteps echoing hollowly in the stillness. But as he rounded the corner, he stumbled to a halt, his blood turning to ice in his veins. Before him stood the old school building, its windows dark and foreboding in the moonlight. With a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach, Alex realized that he had been led back to the one place he had been trying to avoid. But before he could turn and run, a voice spoke from the shadows, sending a shiver down his spine. Welcome, Alex, it whispered, its words dripping with malice. Welcome to your final lesson. As the voice echoed through the empty schoolyard, Alex's heart pounded in his chest. His mind raced, searching for a rational explanation but the sense of dread that hung in the air was palpable. With cautious steps, he approached the shadowy figure, his eyes scanning the darkness for any sign of danger. The figure stepped forward into the moonlight, revealing a face twisted with madness and malice. It was Mr. Hendricks, the school's janitor, but his eyes gleamed with a madness that sent a chill down Alex's spine. Behind him, the doors to the school creaked open, 
inviting Alex into the darkness within. Come, Alex, Mr. Hendricks crooned, his voice dripping with menace. There's something I want to show you. Every instinct screamed at Alex to run, to flee from the darkness that threatened to consume him. But curiosity and fear held him in place, rooted to the spot as if by some unseen force. With trembling hands, he stepped forward, crossing the threshold into the school's dimly lit corridors. The air inside was heavy with the scent of mildew and decay, sending a shiver down Alex's spine. The silence was suffocating, broken only by the sound of his own footsteps echoing through the empty halls. As they descended deeper into the bowels of the building, Alex's sense of unease grew with every step. At last, they reached a door at the end of a long hallway, its surface worn and weathered with age. With a creak of rusted hinges, Mr. Hendricks pushed it open, revealing a staircase that descended into darkness below. Without a word, he gestured for Alex to follow, his eyes burning with an unnatural light. With a sense of mounting dread, Alex descended into the depths below, the staircase spiraling downwards into the darkness like a serpent's coil. The air grew colder with each step, sending a chill racing down his spine. Strange whispers echoed through the darkness, their words unintelligible, yet filled with malice. At last, they emerged into a vast chamber, its walls lined with rows of empty desks and crumbling chalkboards. In the center of the room stood a figure cloaked in shadow, its features obscured by darkness. As Alex's eyes adjusted to the dim light, he realized with horror that it was not Mr. Hendricks standing before him, but something far more sinister. The figure spoke in a voice that seemed to reverberate through the very foundations of the earth, its words ancient and terrible. It spoke of sacrifices made in the name of knowledge, of souls trapped for eternity within the cold embrace of the school's walls. And as Alex listened in horror, he realized that he too was fated to become a part of its twisted legacy. But just as all hope seemed lost, glimmer of light appeared on the horizon, casting long shadows across the chamber. With a cry of defiance, Alex seized hold of the light its warmth driving back the darkness that threatened to consume him. With each step towards the light, he felt the weight of the school's curse lifting from his shoulders, its hold weakening with every passing moment. At last, Alex emerged into the bright light of day, the school crumbling behind him like a forgotten dream. As he staggered out into the open air, he knew that he had escaped the clutches of darkness but he also knew that the memories of that fateful day would haunt him for the rest of his days. As the sun set on Millbrook and the last echoes of Mr. Hendricks' twisted laughter faded into the night, Alex vowed never to return to the schoolhouse again, for he knew that some secrets were better left buried in the depths of the earth, never to see the light of day again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this video.